Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. And make sure to stick until the end of the video where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 50 to the power of 100 over 100 to the power of 50. So now 100 We can rewrite this as 50 plus 50. So now I have 50 to the power of 50 plus 50 over now 100. This is the same thing as 2 times 50. So over 2 times 50 to the power of 50. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 50 to the power of 50 plus 50, that's going to equal 50 to the power of 50 times 50 to the power of 50. So now, if I have something in the form a times b to the power of m, this is equal to a to the power of m times b to the power of m. So 2 times 50 to the power of 50, that is going to equal 2 to the power of 50 times 50 to the power of 50. Now, these two 50 to the power of 50s can cancel out. So now I'm left with 50 to the power of 50 over 2 to the power of 50. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, I have 50 to the power of 50 over 2 to the power of 50. So this is going to equal 50 over 2 to the power of 50. So we are essentially factoring out our exponent here from our two terms because both terms have the same exponent. So just like if two terms had the same coefficient, we would factor out that coefficient. So these terms, these two terms have the same exponent, so we're technically factoring out the exponent. So now 50 divided by 2, this is equal to 25. So now I have 25 to the power of 50. And 25, this is the same thing as 5 squared. So now I have 5 squared to the power of 50. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 5 to the power of 2 to the power of 50 is equal to 5 to the power of 2 times 50. And 2 times 50 is 100, so 5 to the power of 100 is my answer. All right, so I have 100 to the power of 200 over 200 to the power of 100. Now, 200... This is the same thing as 2 times 100. So I have 100 to the power of 200 over 2 times 100 to the power of 100. Now, if I have something in the form a times b to the power of m, this is equal to a to the power of m times b to the power of m. So 100 to the power of 200 over 2 to the power of 100 times 100 to the power of 100. Now, this is the same thing as 1 over 2 to the power of 100 times 100 to the power of 200 over 100 to the power of 100. 
and this is because 2 to the power of 100 is, a, is in our denominator, and anything in the denominator is the same thing as 1 over that number. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, I have 100 to the power of 200 over 100 to the power of 100. And this is going to equal 100 to the power of 200 minus 100. 200 minus 100 is equal to 100. So I have 1 over 2 to the power of 100 times 100 to the power of 100. Now, we can go ahead and multiply these two again. So now I'll have 100 to the power of 100 over 2 to the power of 100. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a over b to the power of m. So we are technically, in this case, factoring out our exponent here. Because let's say we had 5x plus 15, we would be factoring out 5, right? So in this case, we are factoring out our exponent because both terms share the same exponent. And in this case, both terms share the same factor. So now this would equal 100 over 2 to the power of 100. 100 over 2, this is equal to 50. So I have 50 to the power of 100. And this is our answer. Power of 10 over 25 to the power of 5. Now first off, 25 here, this is the same thing as 5 squared. So now I have... 50 to the power of 10 over, if I replace 5 squared with 25, I have 5 squared to the power of 5. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So I have 50 to the power of 10 over 5 to the power of 2 to the power of 5. That's going to equal 5 to the power of 2 times 5. And 2 times 5 is 10. So now I have 50 to the power of 10 over 5 to the power of 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, 50 to the power of 10 over 5 to the power of 10, this is going to equal 50 over 5 to the power of 10. Now, 50 over 5, that's the same thing as 10. So now I have 10 to the power of 10. And now we can actually simplify this. 10 to the power of 10 is the same thing as 10 multiplies by itself 10 times, right? So I have 10 times 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 10. Well, now we have 10 zeros here, meaning this is the same thing as 1 with 10 zeros. So I have 1 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 zeros. So now our answer here is going to be 10 billion. So 10 billion is our answer to this problem. All right, so I have 15 to the power of 50 over 3 to the power of 25. Now 15 here, this is the same thing as 5 times 3. So now I have 5 times 3 to the power of 50 over 3 to the power of 25. Now, if I have something in the form a times b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times b to the power of m. 
So 5 times 3 to the power of 50, this is equal to 5 to the power of 50 times 3 to the power of 50. Now I have this over 3 to the power of 25. Now this can also be written as 5 to the power of 50 times 3 to the power of 50 over 3 to the power of 25. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 3 to the power of 50 over 3 to the power of 25, that's going to equal 3 to the power of 50 minus 25. And 50 minus 25, that's equal to 25. So now I have 5 to the power of 50 times 3 to the power of 25. Now, 50 here, this is the same thing as 25 times plus 25. So I have 5 to the power of 25 plus 25 times 3 to the power of 25. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 5 to the power of 25 plus 25, that's going to equal 5 to the power of 25 times 5 to the power of 25. And I have this times 3 to the power of 25. Now, this can be written as 5 times 5 times 3 to the power of 25. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 3 is 125. So now I have 125 to the power of 25. Sorry, sorry. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 3 is 75. So now I have 75 to the power of 25. And this is our answer. Thank you.